Good morning, grade 7. My name is Michael H. Galgo, and I'm your teacher in mathematics. So what will you say? Okay, very good. So before we start our lesson for today, let's have the prayer first. So Matthew, can you please lead the prayer first? Okay, very good. So let's bow our heads and fill the presence of our Almighty God, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, as being of our life today, we are thankful for having such our life with your wisdom. Give us also the privilege to share our wisdom to our country. Amen. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. So yeah, yesterday we talked about exponent. Can you define what this exponent is? Okay, very good. How many times the base as a factor? So again, x squared, x is the base, and then the small number na nasa upper right type, which is 2, is the exponent. Okay, using product rules, quantity x squared times quantity x cubed will be, since parehan sila ng base, you need to add the exponent. Kaya ang sagot ay x raised to 5. Okay, very good. So, laging tatandaan, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Laging yung tatandaan yan, ha? Okay, ngayon, I have this flashcard. If the answer in this flashcard is positive, you are going to clap your hand. While on another hand, if the answer in this flashcard is negative, you are going to stand up. Okay? So, 2 plus 9 will be, okay, very good lahat. Umapalak pa kasi madali na. How about this one? Negative 3 plus 5. Wait, baka may mga nakatayo at may mga pumapalaktak. So, laging tanda na ang pag unlike sign sila, you need to subtract agad-agad. Then, copy the sign of a bigger number. Since 5 is positive, dapat positive ba sagot mo, which is positive 2. Okay? So, ayan. Next, negative 7 plus negative 8. Okay, wait. <laughs> may mga nakatayo na naman at may mga pumapalaktak. Okay, so pag like sign sila, you need to copy the sign, then you need to add. Kaya ang tamang sagot ay negative 15. So lahat ng mga nakatayo, palakpakan nyo sila kasi tama sila. <laughs> okay, so... Since magaling na kayo sa integer, let's proceed to our new lesson which is... But before that, let's have the game first entitled, guess what? You are going to decode the missing word by answering this mathematical problem that I have here on the box. Bunot ka lang, then 11 times 11 is 121. Ayun, nakita mo. Pero, meron siya letter sa likod, then found on on the chart. Okay? So, yung M ay lalagay natin dito. Ayan. Any volunteer? Oh, wait. Any volunteer? Okay, very good. How about this one? So, three, 13 times 13 will be 169. So, kukunin mo yung letter P. At ilalagay mo siya sa 169. Okay? Oh my God. Okay, very good. Okay, may idea na po kung ano na topic natin today. It's all about multiplications of polynomials. Okay, very good. Okay, so, I know all of you, you know how to multiply, right? Pero bibigyan ko yun ng mga technique kung paano nyo <coughs> masasagot na madali using your kamay. Like, for example, sabi ni teacher ay 12 times 12. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ipagkukonik mo lang yung mga 12. Okay, ayan. So, ikakount mo siya as 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. So, may 40 ka na. Ngayon, isa times sa, sa 2 times 2. 2 times 2 will be 4. So, 40 plus 4 will be 44. Ang keyword ay 100, plus 100. So, 44 plus 100 will be 144. Kaya, square root ng 12 ay 144. Okay? Okay, so, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung mundo ni multiplication kasi dapat alam nyo yan. Okay? Ay, wait. Dahil alam nyo na pala yung sagot, yun pala yung topic natin. It's all about multiplications of polynomial. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Since you know how to multiply, let's define what is polynomial. Can you define what is polynomial? If we say the word poly meaning many and nomial meaning terms, so it says that the polynomials are many terms. So, pag-uusapan natin yung mga terms ni polynomials. Okay. So, ayan. So, yung one term daw na an algebraic express expression consisting on one term na ang tawag ay monomial. Okay, very good. Yung monomial ay ito ang kanyang example. Yung 5x raised to 4, y raised to 7. Okay, basta um, one term lang siya, ang tawag sa kanila ay monomial. Naiintindihan? 
Okay, next. Proceed tayo sa, ayan, na-reveal ko na tuloy. Yung tutor nito polynomial, ang tawag ay binomial. Naibilihan. Okay, at ito ang kanyang example. Yung 4x squared minus 7. Okay, pag involve na ang positive and negative sign, at two terms na sila, ang tawag na sa kanya ay binomial. Naibilihan. Okay, so later on, mamaya magsasolve tayo ng monomial pag monomial, binomial pag binomial, trinomial pag trinomial. Okay? So again, ito ang example ng binomial. Proceed tayo sa three terms sa polynomial at ang tawag ay trinomial. At ito ang kanyang example. One, two, three. Terms of polynomials is trinomial. Nangyindihan? Tandaan nyo lagi si 2 is numerical coefficient at ang mga numbers, ang mga variables, yung a to z, ang mga tawag sa kanila ay mga variables. Ito, si exponent, kilala nyo na yan. At yung number yung nasa, na nasa dula lang, yung tawag sa kanila, sila yung mga forever single and life. Sila ay ang mga constant. Hindi nagbabago, kaya forever silang single. Okay? So, let's have an example. I think we need to solve. Sabi natin kanina, si monomial ay isang Oh, ang hirap pala dito. Wait. Ito ang example natin kanina kay monomial. Tama? Okay. So, magmumultiply tayo na oh, Tandaan, ito ay monomial. At ito ang kanyang example. Imumultiply natin siya like for example si 4x. So, what will be? So, paano nag-multiply ng monomial by monomial? Mostly ang ginagawa ng mga... Mostly ang ginagawa ay sinaseparate mo na yung mga numerical coefficient. So, si 5 times 4. 4. Times yung mga variables na. Pagkasamayin lang natin si, si x raised to 4 at si x... Okay? Tapos si y times y raised to 7. Okay, 5 times 4 will be 20. X raised to x times x raised to 4 times x will be x raised to 5. Divisible by yung numerical yung exponent kaya pag inad sila ay 5. 4 plus 1 will be 5. So 5 and then yung c c y raised to 7 since wala naman siya katapat, bring down na lang siguro siya. Okay? So ang sagot ay 20 x raised to 5 y raised to 7. Nangyayang. So, may tanong ka ba? So, madal oh, so dalian natin. 3x times 2y. What? 2? Okay, 2y. Sige. 2y. So, ang mangyayari, 3 times 2 times x times y. 2 times 3 will be 6xy. So, ito yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, proceed naman tayo sa binomial to binomial. So, can you give an example? Binomial times binomial. Oh my God, ang hirap yung pala nito mag... Okay. Tandaan, si binomial. Ang tawag kay binomial ay... Anong tawag kay binomial? Tutor nito sa polynomial, ang tawag ay binomial. Okay, lagi na tandaan. At ito ang kanyang example. Quantity x plus 4 multiply quantity x minus 2. Okay, so gagamit tayo ng chalk. Okay, so to make your answers easily, you need to apply FOIL method. So ang gagawin natin ay yung first term muna ni x at ito. So x times x will be x squared. Okay, ngayon yung, um, yung outer naman. Yung outer, ito at yung nandito. So, x times negative 2 will be negative 2x. Okay? Tapos, yung inner part, yung ito, 4 times x will be positive 4x. Okay? Ito yon. Tapos, yung last term nilang dalawa, which is 4 times negative 2 will be negative 8. So, itong dalawa, yung last... So, negative 8. Okay. Nagkita ba? Anong parang tatan na sa ka sa ano? Anyway, um, after mo nang ma magawa yung foil method, you need to simplify. Combine like terms. So, singular siyang katapat. x squared 
minus, I mean, negative 2x plus 4x will go be positive 2x. Okay? Tapos bring down mo lang to, negative 8. Okay? This will be your final answer. Again, pag hindi mo pakabisado yung 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 integers, um, pwede kong gumawa ng number line. Like for example, yung 4. Dito sa si 4, diba? 3, 2, 1. Tapos, may 0 pa dito. Okay. So, nandito ka sa positive 4, um, imaminus mo daw, I mean, positive, parang magiging negative 2 plus 4. So, nandito ka sa 4. Tapos, may negative 2, diba? Going to left ng dalawa. So, magiging 1, 2. Kaya, 2 ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, nag-guess ba yun? <laughs> okay, very good. Ouch. Okay. So, kung gusto mo naman, um, pwede mo rin i-apply yung other, pwede mo i-apply yung distributive properties. Like, for example, dito kaya. Dito? Okay. Okay. Pwede mo i-apply yung distributive property. Tingnan natin kung ito yung magiging sagot. Okay. Copy mo lang to si x. I-distribute na siya ngayon sa lahat ng term na to. So, magiging ganito siya. Okay, anong oras na? Okay. So, magiging x times quantity x minus 2. Tapos, copy mo lang itong 4 plus 4 plus 4. Tapos, i-distribute mo pa rin yan dyan. Okay? So, kailangan meron pa tayong isa. Wait. So, ayan. So, ang mayayari, ito, a distributed property ang gagamitin natin, ha? Wait, nakikita ba ako? Parang palang dito sa glad. Ayan. So, mangyayari, distributive, x times x will be x squared, x times negative 2 will be negative 2x, plus, 4 times x will be 4x, tapos, ito, 4 times negative 2 will be negative 8. Again, combine like terms, so, magiging 2x siya, tapos, bring down, bring down. Kaya, ang tamang sagot ay ito. Parehas ba sila? So, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot mo. Okay? So, oh, sakit. So, may tanong ba? Wala. So, kung may tanong kayo, pwede nyo pong i-apply yung ano. Um, pwede nyo pong i-apply yung isa pa. Yung, yung, yung usual na ginagawa pag nag-multiply. Ah, wait. Oo, yung ganito. Yung ganito. Yan. So, gusto nyo pa ba i-apply natin? Oo, kasi mag-30 minutes na i-apply natin siya para gamit tayo ng whiteboard. Okay. So, na yung ginamit ko pa. Okay. So, again, um, copy lang natin. X plus 4 times X minus 2. Okay. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na ito din yung pang i-apply. Ito yung normal na ginagawa natin pag nang multiply. So, X times X. X squared. X times 4 plus 4X. Tapos, ito. Negative 2 times X. Um, kailangan, ang sagot, diba, negative 2X. Kailangan, um, by column yung kanyang um, exponent. Ay, by column yung kanyang degree. Pero, X, X, yeah. Tapos, negative 2 times 4 will be negative 8. So, ayan. So, bring down mo lang yan. Tapos, 4 minus 2. Ayun pala eh. 4 minus 2, di 2. Plus 2X, bring down negative 8. So, ayun yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, pwede mo pang i-apply. Last na lang kasi 30 minutes na pala. So, apply pa natin yung box method. Okay? Box method. Okay? Nakikita ba? Okay. Box method. Ikakabi lang natin dito sa X. At si 4. Okay? Ayan yan. Tapos yung X minus 2 dito sa pababa. X minus 2. Okay? Ngayon. Um... Um, may sinasabi siya dito eh. Um, ano ka ba? Matter ka ba? Yes. Kasi, you are occupying space and has maximum of 1. Kaya, matter ka. Shut up. Um, wait lang. Tapos, magiging x times x, x squared. Tapos, 4 times x will be 4x. Ay, kita pa ba? Ay, pwede ko. Negative 2 times x will be just negative 2x. Tapos, 4 times negative 2. Ayan o. Oh. 4 times negative 2 will be negative 8. So, pag na-occupy it mo na yan, pag mo halaman na yan, ang gagawin mo na, yung, ang gagawin mo na, um, you need to add diagonal. 
O so add diagonal. So add diagonal. So magiging negative 8. Tapos 4 minus 2 will be 2x. Tapos bring down lang. So 2x. Okay. 2. So ayan. So the correct. So ibig sabihin tama yung mga sagot natin. Okay maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nakinig. Um, your figure ay may success kaya itutulog kayo yung lahat um, the more na marap, the more na mahirap the more na, the more na mahirap mag-solve, the more, the more na mahirap mag-solve, the, the more na maraming problem the more na mas masarap mag-solve bye bye, thank you